So Gaijin has committed to improving the economy, and they've been gradually rolling out their improvements, but it still takes a very long time to grind to jets. After grinding over 90% of the planes in this game over the past 8 years, I've experienced my fair share of grinding, so I wanted to share some of the tips I've picked up over the years. These were helpful to me, and they'll probably help you too, but your mileage may vary. First tip is choosing the right plane. One aspect of vehicles that I feel gets overlooked is reward multipliers. Simply put, a higher multiplier means more money, like having a booster active every match. The multiplier doesn't make or break a plane for me, but it is a factor I consider, especially when looking at premiums. More importantly, when picking a plane, I try to pick something that's good. I know that sounds obvious, but if you have something that's good that you enjoy playing, grinding becomes a lot easier than grinding with something that you hate playing. The name of the game with grinding is consistently high RP and SL per battle, and a good plane with good multipliers will help you out tremendously with that. I understand sometimes you don't have good options, I wish I had advice for these situations, but every now and then you just have to grit your teeth and suffer through it sometimes. Most ranks have at least one plane that is playable though. The second tip is to take advantage of opportunities to get free premium stuff without spending real money. The first way you can do this is with the battle pass, which just reset yesterday. This season, if you get to level 51, you can get a premium B7A2, and if you grind to level 80, you can get the Ta-154 through the Warbond Shop. You don't have to buy the Battle Pass to get either plane. Battle Pass and Warbond Shop reward planes are often very good for knocking out the first few ranks of a tree and also for grinding SL, even if you've moved on past the first ranks. In the past, I've picked up the XP-50, French Yak-3, and Key-96 all without spending any money. The other and better way to get free stuff if you're a PC player is to grind events and sell the rewards for Gaijin coin, which you can spend on anything in the premium shop. If you sell the plane from both star events, you can get at least 40 or 50 Gaijin, which is enough to buy an entire year of premium time when it goes on sale. You can also sell materials during the crafting events in spring and fall, but grinding to the top reward in these events is exceedingly difficult for the average player compared to star events, which are much easier. Using the money from selling event rewards, I've bought several premiums and used them to grind several trees, so if you're a PC player, definitely take advantage of these if you can. So getting the right plane is half the battle, but good equipment does you no good if you can't use it effectively. Third tip is to try to stay alive and stay in the fight. Every time you die, you have to go through a sequence of loading screens, queue times, taking off, and getting to the battlefield again, so if you cut down on your number of deaths, you can spend more time in the fight earning money and less time in the hangar waiting to try again. Dying less often is a good skill to have in general, but it's also quite helpful when you're grinding. I'm not saying to play passively or camp your airfield or anything like that, but just work on having more awareness and having better positioning and you should start to see improvements in how long you survive. Again, name of the game is consistent RP and SL per hour, so try to spend fewer hours in the queue and in the hangar and more hours earning RP and SL. Fourth tip is to not rely on PvE, and what I mean by this is try to make sure you aren't completely relying on bombing or ground pounding for the majority of your income, and there's a few reasons I say this. Doing well as a fighter is going to help your team, it's going to increase your win rate, winning a match means more money. Also, if you do nothing but click on the ground to grind your way to top tier, not only is it mind-numbingly boring, but you don't improve at the game. If you want to bomb in really fast planes as a way to supplement income, that's fine, just try not to be dependent on it. In fact, one of my favorite ways to grind trees is by intercepting bombers. If you imagine a line between the enemy runway and your team's bases, you've got a path where you can pretty much always find at least one or two bombers. Since they're almost certainly slower than you, you can intercept them and slot in behind them for a free kill early in the match. And the final tip is to spend money wisely if you are going to spend money on this game. To be completely blunt, if you care about jets and playing the variety of higher tier content this game has to offer, you pretty much need a premium account or you're not going to unlock things in a reasonable time frame. I'm not trying to sound like a gaijin shill, but it's just the reality, especially if you care about your own time. Premium time goes on sale in May, November, and December, and if you do the math, it comes out to like $3 a month if you buy in bulk. Now, I have my fair share of gripes with this game, I think we all do, but personally, I definitely find I get 3 bucks worth of fun out of it every month, and if I had to choose between having premium time or a premium plane, I'm taking premium time any day of the week. Saving 3 bucks a month is not worth all the extra hours of grinding trying to get to what you want to play in my opinion. As for stuff that's not premium time, again, wait for the sales. Usually Defin makes a really good in-depth sales guide when sales happen, so I'd consult with that before buying anything. I don't think higher tier premiums are worth their full asking price and I only buy them when they go on sale, but a good rank 6 or 7 premium is the best way to speedrun grinding a tree. Again, use Gaijin coin from selling event planes to get one of these if you can. Don't use GE to convert RP, don't use GE to buy a sell, these are never worth it and are a waste of money. So that's pretty much it. Really grinding jets quickly comes down to two things, spend money and get better. 
Like I mentioned, it's possible to get free premium time in vehicles without swiping your credit card, but once you've got your grinding mobile, it's up to you to make it perform so you can extract as much RP per hour as you can from it. You really just gotta keep hitting that battle button and keep doing game after game until you make it to your goal. If you play regularly with a premium plane and a premium account and do well, you can finish a tree in under 300 games, while on the other hand, if you don't play very often and don't have a premium and don't perform well, you might play for years and never make it to top tier. So stay at it, take improvements where you can find them, and you will get better at grinding as you progress as a player. Your first jet is usually the hardest one to get. I hope you got something from this, at the very least you know my thought process for grinding all 10 trees. I'm working on the Sidewinder video that's coming next, also working on the radar videos, so be sure to sub so you don't miss that. Thanks for watching.